Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between OLEDB destination and SQL Server destination? So let's go to SSDT and take a look. Right now I have a package that is reading data from a table by using OLEDB source and then I'm using multicast transformation so I can get uh, multiple outputs uh, for the same input. Here in the destinations what we see here uh, we have OLEDB destination and then uh, we have a SQL Server destination. So I'm going to bring both of them here, connect to multicast and show you some differences. First of all, these uh, tra both transformations uh, can be used uh, to load the data to the SQL Server. You can use either OLEDB destination or uh, you can use a SQL Server destination to load the data to the SQL Server. But which one you prefer to use uh, and which one you do not want to use. So if it comes to the performance, SQL Server destination is faster than OLEDB destination. So with the articles I had been reading and some of the experiments I was doing on my own environments and in the different companies on different projects, I see that SQL Server destination is 5 to 10 percent faster than OLEDB destination. Why? because uh, SQL Server destination uh, perform bulk uh, load operation uh, and load the data to the SQL Server but it has uh, some limitations as well so for SQL Server destination uh, it required shared memory connection uh, to the SQL Server that means uh, it can be only used when you are running uh, integration services uh, on the same box uh, where your destination is uh, that means SQL Server so if they are on different machines you will not be able to use the um, SQL Server destination. In my case let's suppose that right now I am on one system and I, my SQL Server is installed on the same machine and I'm running the SSIS here and package I will be able to use it. But if I want to use this package to load the data some, to some other uh, SQL Server that's not installed on this machine I will not be able to use a SQL Server destination so that's a big limitation uh, and especially when it comes to for the debugging uh, and you have to debug uh, and point your um, destinations uh, to different uh, servers uh, such as dev QA you will not be able to use a SQL Server, de server destination uh, or you have to have uh, go to that uh, um, environment uh, and uh, then open uh, your package there and uh, it has to have a SQL Server integration services uh, there uh, so you can debug on the same server as uh, your destination would be uh, on the same server as in, uh, as well as integration services so that make it uh, debug really hard but uh, on the OLEDB destination uh, that performs uh, very well as well but we can load the data into the um, batches uh, we can define the uh, rows per batches and we ha we have the commit max uh, insert uh, uh, maximum insert commit size and we can lock tables and all those kind of things uh, different features uh, or properties are available to us we have fast load and uh, we have other options as well here in the SQL Server you do not have uh, those options it is going to do the bulk load so you can't really um, uh, configure this one for number of rows you want to insert in the batches so to run your SSIS uh, package with the SQL Server destination you has to has run as an administrator on the machine wherever you are running uh, I, I, I read uh, also some blogs uh, and uh, um, some uh, uh, post from the Microsoft employees and uh, they are not recommending using a SQL Server destination that might be they, they might uh, um, I'm not sure but what I understand from the blogs and all that in maybe next versions they will not have SQL Server destination and uh, I will rem most of the time what I see with the OLEDB destination that's work fine and um, 
if uh, even a SQL Server destination is fast, uh, uh, like five to ten percent. Uh, um, you have those limitations when it comes to debugging and all that uh, with the OLED destination uh, that that's not uh, going to be big difference uh, as long as your packages take 20 hours or uh, 10 hours uh, and uh, it will be like 5 to 10 percent that will give you one hour uh, time you know you can save one hour time with the SQL Server destination so in those cases you might want to use it or in other cases where your packages take uh, 20 minutes uh, it's not going to make a big difference uh, uh, if it will take uh, 21 minutes so think about the, all the limitations and uh, then decide which works best for you thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video